everybody, this is Eric, and this is my 5 Degrees of Freedom Lego Robotics arm. So, basically I used one motor per joint, except for here at the base, I used two. So I have one motor for rotation like this, and this is the base joint, and then two more for the arm, and then the last one for the claw. So I have six motors total, and I have two brains controlling the six motors. So now I'm going to each part. So this is a claw. The claw, it used to close like this, but I decided it would be more useful and functional to have it like this so that it could pick things up farther away without having to go like this on it. So basically I've got a compact way to move this way motion to this way motion uh, with that type of gear. And then that claw just opens like this and closes like that um, and then I geared each joint so I'd have more precision and torque so every joint goes from that smaller gear to the bigger gear same here and then this large joint I have even a bigger gear reduction so yeah, then this whole tray right here pivots with this motor that spins a worm gear that spins one of the re really large gears to turn the whole thing. And then I've got the two brains here with uh, two different touch sensors so that I can use manual control. So I'll show you that in a second, but basically it's, I can use these buttons here to control the direction that it goes, like left or right. And I also programmed it so that I can toggle. Here, I'll show you that in a second. Now I'm going to show you the manual control of the robotic arm. So I've got two bricks here, and I'm going to run both programs. So basically, I press the arrows to control movement side to side. And then I can hit one of these buttons to lower the arm, or, or raise it. And then I toggle the center button to go to control the bottom joint. And then I can raise, raise, lower, lower. And then I can pull it back again. And then I can use this one to control the claw. So yeah, that is basically it.